hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix death loop error code that is 0xc 000001d illegal instruction so if you are receiving this error code while launching death loop or while playing death loop then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart steam so go to steam click on steam then click on exit and after that go ahead and restart steam now if if there is any update which is happening go ahead and let the update complete and then launch the game now still you are receiving the error message in that case you can go ahead and refund the game on steam and then buy it from bethesda now this has worked for many users so it might work for you i don't know why this is happening but you can go ahead and if you can go ahead and refund the game on steam and then buy it from bethesda the next step is to move or reinstall the game on c drive so this has also worked for many users so it might work for you so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to local files and here you can click on move install folder and install it move it to the d drive uh, c drive actually so move it to the c drive and then try to launch the game you can also try to install the game on different drive and if you have ssd you can try to install the game on ssd and check which one is working fine for you the next step is to close all the overclocking applications so for many user closing msi afterburner and revert tuner has fixed the problem so if you have msi afterburner running the computer go ahead and close it now in case if you have revert tuner running on the computer go ahead and close revert tuner and close obs studio so this was giving me the error message so if you have obs studio running on the computer go ahead and close it and close all the background applications so close everything make sure only the steam and the game is running the rest you can go ahead and close all the application including the browser and you can also go to windows settings and in the search box you can go ahead and type in background settings so type in background apps so click on background apps and then turn this off also perform clean boot to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services so make sure that you put a check over here first then click on disable all in my case it's grayed out because i already did it so in your case it will be highlighted put a check over here first then click on disable all then click on apply okay and then you will see the restart option restart your computer and then launch the game and also close all the overlay applications so if you have any overlay application running the computer go ahead and close it so make a right click on the game first then go to properties and uncheck this box which says enable the steam overlay while in game uncheck this and then try to launch the game now if you have discord running on the computer go ahead and close discord now if you have geforce experience running on the computer go ahead and close geforce experience and then try to launch the game the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia go to nvidia website if you have amd go to nvidia amd website so i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system and then click on search and then click on download and again click on download and once the download is complete run this exe file and then you will see this screen so click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation so after the clean installation once you put a check over here click on next and after the clean installation you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to update windows 10 to the latest version for this go to the start menu click on settings go to update and security then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game now this has worked for many users so it might work for you the next step is to verify the game files for this go to steam make a right click on the game then select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification try to launch the game now also make sure that you run the game on the dedicated graphic card so if you compare a game with two graphic card one is intel the other is nvidia or amd make sure that you are running the game on the dedicated graphic card so go to the windows search box and type graphic settings 
and then click on graphics settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open steam library folder then open steam apps then open common then open the death loop game folder select the death loop exe file then click on add and once the game is added over here in my case it's already added so click on the game then click on options then select high performance and then click on save now still you are receiving the error message and if you are nvidia card user in that case you can go ahead and open nvidia control panel so go to desktop make a right click on the desktop select click on nvidia control panel then go to manage 3d settings then click on program settings and then click on add again go to the game installation folder so if you see the game exe file over here you can go ahead and select the game exe file if you don't see it click on browse and then go to the game installation folder open the steam folder steam apps common death loop and then select the game exe file then click on open once the game is added over here click over here on this down arrow and select high performance nvidia processor then on the bottom here you can see the apply option click on apply and then try to launch the game now you can also select dedicated graphic card in game option so uh, for this go ahead and launch the game now once you are in game press the escape key on the keyboard and then go to options and then go to visuals and then over here you can see video card selection click on this down arrow now if intel is selected over here go ahead and switch back to your nvidia your dedicated graphic card and then you can go ahead and try playing the game now the next step is to disable the intel graphics from device manager so for this you can make a right click on the start menu then click on device manager now you have to go ahead and expand display adapter and then make a right click on intel hd graphics and then click on disable device and once you disable it you can go ahead and try to launch the game now in case if you are able to launch the game then you can go ahead and try to lower down graphics settings to medium or low so go ahead and launch the game first now after you launch the game press the escape key on the keyboard then go to options then go to visuals and then you can go ahead and try to select the right resolution or you can go ahead and lower down the resolution and you can also try window mode now select your dedicated graphic card from here and go to advanced settings now before you go to advanced settings you can go ahead and turn off these features so go ahead and turn off vsync if vsync is on go ahead and turn it off uh, this has worked for many users so it might work for you now go to advanced settings and if everything is set uh, set to very high you can go ahead and try to lower down to maybe high medium low or even very low so try to lower down the graphics settings and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game once again now you can also close the google chrome browser now in my case the google chrome browser was open so go ahead and close the chrome browser so chrome browser should be closed so make sure that you close the chrome browser while playing the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel